Hi, my name is Bybreen Samuels and welcome to Funding Advantage. Here I share information and tips about funding opportunities that could benefit your organisations. Since I posted my video last week about the social impact bond, I've had several conversations with people wanting to know some more about payment by results. So here's a brief overview. Payment by results are contractual arrangements between private investors as well as the government. Now the investor will fund services where there's a potential for the government to save money. Now if their services deliver on their outcomes, the government will then repay the initial investment together with a level of profits. Conversely, if the service doesn't deliver in terms of its outcomes, the government doesn't pay the investor any money. And so the risk and the responsibility of the service resides with the investor and not with the organisation who actually delivers the service. Now there's an intermediary agency that will handle all of the decision making as well as administration around the projects. And their first priority will be about delivering profits to investors. Now there's the potential that investors will not be interested in services or projects where the likelihood of success is uncertain. And what this could actually mean and what it could lead to is that vulnerable people within our society will be excluded from accessing services that they really need. Now the government, as I said, is looking to save money and so one of the things that's going to be really attractive to them are large scale projects. And the reason for this is that larger organisations have a stronger and more robust infrastructure. Also they have the resources and the ability and the time to manage the complex monitoring and evaluation processes. Now having said all of that, if you're a small organisation and if I were you, I would actually go about collaborating with a whole range of other organisations to form a partnership. Now once you've got clarity over what your unique offering is, i.e. what is your value proposition, I would then approach and pitch to commissioners, letting them know really clearly how you could actually go about solving their problems. And while you're there, I would use strength in numbers and I would lobby those same commissioners in terms of seeking to change and having some influence over who gets access to resources. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below the video. Also, if you would like a free chapter from my new book, Nonprofit Booster, 10 Steps to Building a Successful Organization, then drop me an email at support at insights to impact.com and in the subject line if you put free chapter and I will send that out to you. The book will be published later on this year. Also we can continue connecting on Twitter and that's at by Breen Samuels, that's B-Y-B-R-E-E-N Samuels, S-A-M-U-E-L-S. And also if you want to follow my blog that's by Breen.tumblr.com and I'll see you on the next video.